Supa. From Supa Estate because he says he's paying her. Those are from old bills. No, impossible. I'm sure confused. He was your client from when to when? He was our client from, I believe, the middle of March until the middle of July. I'd like to see the checks that you made from March, April, and May. This is June, June 15th, $432, which would have covered three months. Yes, I don't have that check with me, but it was made to This her. one? Yes. Okay. I don't think I can help you, Miss Burns. I don't understand. She was sending out bills for prior balances that had nothing to I do. I don't know that. But he has those bills here. I don't know that. He doesn't have to prove anything to me. But we did all this work. Evidently not satisfactorily. Because, I mean, why would he take business away from you if he had been with a firm for 25 years? Let's be realistic. Mm -hmm. If somebody is in business and everything is going smoothly and whoever is there retires and you're perfectly satisfied with the replacement and all your business is there, all your prior returns are there, all your prior bills were there, why would you move it? Probably because you're not satisfied or... Well, either because you're not satisfied or because things weren't working well. Right. When this woman had a stroke, was that in March? No, it was in August of 17. Okay, did she continue to work? She did not. She was in a coma. Well, then who was cashing her checks? So we were operating her business and they were going into her business account. She is now back and so she is now depositing those checks. So she's back? She is. Well, find out from her where all the money is. He says he's paid. And why isn't she here? She just can't move very well. Okay. I give you three minutes to explain your counterclaim to me. My counterclaim was, as of today, I am getting delinquent bills for business license that was never done by the accountant that should have been. EDD, notice of form that was delinquent that was never done on their part. Federal tax deposits that were submitted incorrectly. Federal tax deposits that were made many mistakes. Well, um, let me see the first piece of paper that you have and then I will share it with the plaintiff. Sure. Let me show you all these first. Okay. First piece of this paper. is the so, first one. Just for my own information, sure. Ms. Burns, the person from whom you took over the business is mm -hmm. now back in business. On a very, very limited basis. Are you working with her? No. Okay. Then we're done. Did you take care of any tax deposits in March of 2018? I don't believe so, because I believe Ms. Byerly was doing that. Well, that's why it's all pretty muddy. I thought you said she had a stroke she in did. August, and now she's back. And you worked for him March, April, May, and June. This is March 31st. Your federal income tax deposit wasn't submitted correctly. And this is for a delinquent business license. Were you supposed to take care of that? Oh, it was due on July 1st. No, so they have a due date, so like the payroll returns, they're due the first day of the month after the quarter ends, but they're not delinquent until after the... That doesn't end. mean anything. A payment is due on July 1st. No, it, I believe it says at the top that payment's due August. Payment is due on July 1st. Penalty applies after August 31st. Payment is due July 1st. They have a grace oh, period. I'm done. You have a new accountant, you happy? Very. Good, case is dismissed, we're done. Parties are excused, you may step up. I believe the defendant didn't explain things correctly. They left their business unattended. He was receiving old bills and paying them and then saying. They never checked in. That he was paying me and that's not even true. And everything became a mess where we could never get a hold of them.